Okay, let's work about finding the domain and range. So let's look at this problem right here. 9 minus x squared. It's very, very limited, all right? Because you cannot have a negative in the square root. So here's how I go about doing it. First off, I'm thinking about f of x is the same thing as y. And what I'm going to do is this. I know it's a square root, so the answers have to be 0 or larger. So therefore, the 9 minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0. I would simply add an x squared to each side. I don't like dealing with negative x squared, so then you've got to flip signs. And the reason you have to flip a sign is notice if x squared is negative, it's greater than. But when it's on the other side where it's positive, it's less than. And you always have to solve for less than. Now, how do you solve a square root? You simply what? Well, pretend it's first 9 equals x squared. So that would mean if I square root it, x would be what? Plus or minus 3. So what happens is this. I know I have answers at negative 3 and 3. And negative 3 and 3 will be part of the solution. But the question is, am I looking at values outside of these values or inside that make it true? And here's how I do it. I pick a number less than negative 3 and test it. So first off, let's look at the numbers I'm going to pick to use. If I plug negative 4 into the problem, negative 4 squared is 16. 9 minus 16 makes negative 7, so it's not possible. So I know it's not going to be outside there. If I plug negative 1 in, negative 1 squared is positive 1. 9 minus 1 will be square root of 8. And the square root of 8 is less than 9. It's like 2 point something. So I know it's going to be an answer. The same thing's true about positive 1. You know, 9 minus 1 will be 8. So I know it's going to be true there. And then when I test the 4 outside here, I get 16. And 9 minus 16 is negative 7. So I know it's not true. So I know then that the only values that make it work are between negative 3 and 3 which I had a pretty good idea that was going to be the case because this says what? 9 minus x squared, indicating that x squared cannot be larger than 9 because if x squared is larger than 9, I'm going to have a negative, which pretty much told me my values are only going to be between what? Negative 3 and 3. And negative 3 and 3 are part of the solution. But on those kind of problems, I sometimes have to pick some numbers to test it out to see if it works. All right, so and you can see the domain is written that way. It can equal the negative three. I know all the way to three. And the range can be basically this here. Think about it. If you only have values from there to there, and I plug those in, well, three squared is nine. Nine minus nine will be zero. The square root of zero is zero. Hence that answer. And if I use 0, the smallest value that is not negative or positive, because when you square the negative, it's going to become positive. 0 squared is 0. 9 minus 0 is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So the range is only from 0 to 3. So I found the domain and the range.